Hey guys, this is Ali Jab here and I'm back with another brand new video and in today's video we're going to be talking about this brand new Canada Goose Emery Parker and basically we're going to be going through some of the features and how it also compares with other Parkers out there by Canada Goose so uh, without wasting time, let's check it out So this is a really nice um, bag that it comes in, as you can see over here you've got a zip here, so let's open up the zip. And let's take it out of this dust bag. Here we go. So guys, this is the Canada Goose Emery Parker. And basically this is... Um, very similar to uh, Langford Parker, so basically what I'm going to do is just quickly put it on and then show you some of the features, so stay with me. Right guys, so this is the Canada Goose Emery Parker. As I said before, it's very similar to Langford Parker or Carson Parker. But today, we're gonna our main focus is gonna be on the, some of the features on this um, Emery Parker and how it compares with, uh, especially Langford. So uh, let's check out some of the features first. I mean, looking at it straight away, obviously you know it's it looks pretty stylish. Um, it looks nice and fitted. You know, it's quite uh, sleek. And basically, what I really like about this core is got these two, you know, um, I mean, it's a lot of pockets at the front, as you can see. Um, but these two front pockets here, you know, for like to keep your hands warm, you know, um, we've got kind of like a slit here and sort of like a diagonal pockets, you know, um, you can put your hands in there. Now, over here, you've got these snap open big pockets on the sides here and on this side as well so again you can put your you know mobile phones your wallet your things like that you know in here if you wanted to now up here you've got these really nice you know um, sort of hand warm pockets so if you're just walking about like that you can keep your hands in there um, to be honest with you this inside here you've got like a really nice sort of fleece inside so it does really keep your hands warm uh, in winter so you know, if you're walking about um, outside um, in winter, in cold, in all honesty, you don't need to wear gloves. You know, you can just keep your hands in there and it keeps it really nice and warm. Um, obviously, it's got these two zips on the sides. So you can just zip up and down. Um, another cool feature I like, I mean, this is just like a style. It's got these soft triangles here and on this side, which I really like. Now, Let's talk about some of the internal pockets. So, inside here, you've got this um, sort of Napoleon pocket with a zip. So it's like a medium sized pocket that you can just basically put your cash, your valuables in here and then just zip it up. You've got a nice little mesh pocket here on this side and over here as well. So, and over here you've got basically another um, zipper inside here. Now what that does is basically this is like a really cool feature. So you can kind of like, it's got these um, sort of straps or snob if you call it. That sort of pulls out and you can just sort of like, you know, just strap this on and snap it on like that these nice strong buttons now this really keeps you know the um it stops letting the you know uh, wind coming in or a cold draft um and just keeps it nice and cozy in here right so over here you've got really nice um double zip, double zipper here. Now, a lot of 
people actually get confused um, when it comes to you know zipping up your Canada Goose coat. Uh, a lot of people tend to struggle and they think there's something wrong with the with the zip, even though it's a really strong build and really um, durable. But they think, oh, you know, there's something wrong with the coat. They, they can't seem to zip it up. Now, basically, there's a technique how to zip, you know, your Canada Goose coat. So what you have to do is you don't really zip it up, you know, like you normally do with the other cords. And if you go like that, because obviously you have to bear in mind that this is a quite long cord. So if you just go like this and you try to do it how we zip up our other jackets, it's never going to work. It won't zip up. You're going to struggle. But what you what you have to do instead is just basically fold that little flap here, and then you don't have to hold the zip. So just literally grab it from here. Put it inside here, and then off we go. Simple. <laughs> right, so again, very nice, durable, really strong uh, double zip you've got here. Over here, you've got this sort of, um, you know, wind fall, or you know, you just basically like a little flap that you just um, sort of snap it like that with the buttons, which is really cool. Um, over here you've got ribbed cuffs, which is really nice, um, keeps it really nice and warm. Here you've got these um, flaps that you can basically tighten your uh, cuffs if you wanted to. You know, or you can adjust it, you know, however you want it. So I tend to keep it on the single anyway because it's quite adjusted for me as you can see. You've got nice Canada Goose big chunky logo here, which is the uh, symbol as you can see far away from Canada Goose. They have taken out another um, black symbol as well, and uh, which is sort of like, um, you know, a new new symbol. Um, it's, it's tend to, the purpose of the black one is to kind of like, you know, if you want to keep it discreet, you don't want the logo to be out on your face. But in all honesty, I mean, if you spending, you know, over a grand on a coat, you know, you kind of want people to know what you're wearing, you know, if you, if you spend so much money and, you know, you, but it's personal preference, I mean, some people don't like it, you know, so it really sort of depends on your personal preference, but I went for, you know, the classic Canada, Canada Goose logo instead of the black logo. Um, right, so uh, another cool feature about this coat, what I really like about this jacket, that it's kind of got a really nice um, sort of chin guard here. So when you close it, you know, you you basically got your chin covered here with this chin guard and it's got like a little fleece um, top bit, so it's, it's not gonna really hurt your chin. Um, and also, it's got the collar as well here. So again, on the collar, you've got this nice little fleece around here. So it's right up, keeps your neck nice and warm and if over here you've got this nice big hood with a fur. Now with this basically hood, you've got this fur and the fur is also wired. So you can kind of like adjust it and it keeps the fur in a good position as well. Because obviously, you know, it's wired fur, um, you know, which kind of keeps it really in a position and you can mold it how you want it to, um, which is a really cool feature about this coat. I really love. Now, let's check out um, how it sort of compares with, you know, um, other parkers out there. So obviously, you know, uh, I mentioned earlier that basically we're also going to do a bit of a comparison with, uh, especially with, you know, Langford. So with Langford Parker, I mean, when I went to buy it, I've checked that one out and I've also looked at this one as well. And the reason why I went for Emery uh, instead of you know, Langford, because first thing which really sort of appealed to me that Emery is a bit more sleeker, you know, it's, it's kind of, I mean, Parker is not really baggy baggy, you know, but it's slightly um, loose fit as compared to Emery. So uh, also Parker doesn't really have any sort of, you know, feature to it. It's just like, you know, you're wearing a coat with not sort of detail or much features around. With this one, it kind of really appealed to me because um, first thing, like I said, because it's really sort of, you know, um, slim, it's got a bit of a detail, you know, when you wear it and you close your zipper, so it's really nice fit, um, you know, looks a bit sleek. Also, these pockets really appeal to me, these buttons, whereas I think Parker's got sort of like, you know, flaps, you know, pockets, they can just put your hands in there. Um, 
And then this one obviously has got the diagonal cuts, which, which really appeal to me. I thought it's really stylish. Um, and these triangle bits here as well, you know, as you can see around here, this triangle cuts, which obviously again gives a bit of a detail to this coat. Another thing, Langford doesn't have the collar. So this one's got a collar, so it keeps the fur apart from the collar. So, you know, it's, it kind of gives a bit of a, sort of like a separate feature to it. So it's not sort of, you know, part of, the hood is not part of the coat, if that makes sense. This hood is obviously removable, it also comes off. It's got like a little zip here, you can just unzip it and remove the, um, you know, remove the hood. Also, um, with Parker, they don't have, in, in Parker's, is, uh, fur is not wired. So this one is also wired as well. So I think there's quite few differences as I've explained. So this is why I went for Emery uh, as opposed to, you know, uh, Langford Parker. Um, also now, if you talk about some of the, the quality of this coat, I mean, as you know, this is Canada Goose. Uh, you can't go wrong with Canada, you know, with this coat, it keeps you really nice and warm in winter. Um, one of the things people got this sort of, um, you know, this, this, this people think, you know, this, this is Canada goose, so maybe it's filled with goose feathers or, you know, goose down. But just to clarify, that's not the case. Although it's called Canada goose, but they don't actually use goose feathers or goose down. They in fact use duck down. But in all honesty, I mean, you know, it, it does a pretty well job anyway. So whether it's duck down or goose down, it's still gonna keep you warm and cozy in winter and it's gonna do a pretty good job uh, you know keeping you warm um, you know uh, in winter so really um, you know good in that sense strong built very durable um, quality you know when it, when it comes to it and I mean you know it's if you can afford it by all means you know do definitely get one it's a must-have coat for winter especially you know if you live in the west or if you live in you know cold countries like uh, I mean I, I live in the UK so it does get cold here in the winter, especially, you know, in November, December, January, you know, uh, when it's winter and it's snowing, um, you know, so it becomes really handy. Um, but if you live in other countries like Canada or elsewhere in the world, you know, where it's pretty cold, you know, this, this, is, this coat is really going to do a really good job to keep you uh, warm in winter. Alright guys, so let's talk about um, the price. So um, this, I mean, this Canada Goose, Emery, Parker, or whether you buy this one or Langford, I think uh, they're pretty much the same in price. Um, so this is currently retailing for £1,150 in the UK. Um, it'll be around the same price elsewhere in, you know, in the world as well, I reckon. Um, so considering, obviously, you know, it, it comes with so many different features, it's a bit more sleek, it's got the wide hood, you know, and the collar. You know and considering you're paying the same price so i would recommend that you go for emery uh, instead of langford but again it's your personal preference um you know um and basically if you look at this here this obviously canada goose is made in it's made in canada now when you buy this coat because obviously you're spending you know over a grand you're spending you know 1150 pounds so Canada Goose does give you um, a lifetime warranty with this jacket. So basically, if anything goes wrong, you know, if the uh, buttons break or if the zip breaks or the button snaps, um, you know, you've got unlimited warranty. You know, you can take it back to Canada Goose and then they'll either fix the problem or they'll give you a brand new coat. Um, and um, yeah, and also, um, in terms of taking care of your jacket and coat, basically, the, you know, you can get this dry clean, but before you do, you have to uh, remove the hood. So make sure you don't get the fur dry clean. So uh, take the hood off, uh, to, sorry, take this fur off, and then you can get the entire coat dry cleaned, uh, and it's brand new again for you. Oh yeah, one more thing as well I forgot to mention. Uh, another reason why I, I prefer Emery over Parker is because obviously when you close these, you know, uh, flaps, um, Parker's got like a little, you know, snapper, you know, that kind of like, um, it's like a little uh, snap that kind of attaches to the coat and that could wear off over time. Whereas this one's got the buttons, so, you know, um, this is gonna obviously last you uh, much longer because it's obviously more durable, you know, better in that sense. Right guys, so this brings us to the end of our video and I really hope 
that you enjoyed watching um, our latest video of this really cool Canada Goose Emery Parker and you know if you have any uh, questions you know anything you're not sure about uh, let me know in your comments below uh, hit the like button and subscribe to my channel if you want to see more videos like this and let me know what you think and um, also mention in the comments below if any of you uh, on or have Canada Goose uh, code and whether you've got the uh, Langford or Emery or Carson and you know what do you think of Faye and how do you compare and what's your personal preference and opinion so right guys um, wish you all the best uh, stay loved stay blessed one love and I'll see you around